Law Warrior Online. HSR-300-D, Hussar. Overview. One of the most widely used light mechs in the Star League Defense Force, the Hussar is a difficult target to hit in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Originally intended to provide fire support for infantry units, the Hussar proved to be even more valuable as a long-range support mech when paired with thorns and other nimble designs. The Hussar became a lost tech design after General Kerensky's exodus, which took most of the SLDF assigned Hussars with him. The Hussar practically disappeared from the Innisfere, except for those secretly hoarded by Comstar. The mech returned to the battlefield during the War of 3039 after Comstar supplied the DCMS with a number of stripped units. Capabilities The original Hussar, the 200D model, mounted an extended range large laser making it a favourite strike mech of pilots who prefer to snipe from extreme range. Extremely nimble and very fast, a Hussar could operate for months if not longer as a guerrilla unit and was a perfect choice as a flanking and behind-the-lines harasser. It became a mech of choice after the exploits of the 30th Corps of the SLDF on Wotan, where ten Hussars of the Fingers of Death operated for three weeks behind enemy lines. With the unit's phenomenal success, many commanders sat up and took notice of the Hussar and its capabilities. The only major weakness to the mech is its paper-thin armour, notorious for being weak along several areas where even a simple fall could spell catastrophe. As long as the pilots didn't engage in stand-up battles and use the Hussar's strengths to its advantage, the weakness was mostly minimised. Deployment Predominantly seen among the SLDF, the Hussar was not as plentiful in other house militaries. Since the Star League maintained a tight lock on New Heart Industries' production lines, the only time a house managed to field one was either through salvage, an abnormal practice for the era, or by shipping errors, as house military intelligence agencies preferred to call theft. After the departure of the SLDF, the Hussar disappeared from nearly all TO and E's. The Hussar was one of the designs provided to the Draconis Combine as a result of a secret deal brokered within Comstar in the 3030s. Though stripped of any advanced technology, the mech was a potent asset, and the DCMS used them to a great extent in the war. Utilising its legendary speed, Hussars were able to flank slower AWFC forces and wreak havoc on their supply lines. Variants with so few Hussars remaining in the Inner Sphere, no standard variants are known to exist. The DCMS has attempted to utilise a smaller Pitban 240 engine in an effort to increase its armour and armaments, but with little success. Notable Mech Warriors Colonel Stephen Cage Commander of the 200th Dragoon Regiment of the SLDF, Colonel Cage was a genius with light unit tactics, but very short-tempered and prone to violent fits of rage in person. Turning the 200th into a reconnaissance battalion, he led his unit into many of the SLDF's toughest battles against Rimworld Republic forces, culminating in participation with General Kerensky's task force that liberated terror from Stefan Amaris' grasp. The 200th Dragoons had over 50 Hussars. They were extremely dangerous as an overrunning flanker force, and many times managed to turn the tide of battle by destroying valuable supplies, capturing high-ranking commanders, and in at least three instances, capturing the enemy's dropship assets. Colonel Cage accepted General Kerensky's invitation to leave with the bulk of the SLDF forces in the Exodus. Cortez Attila Tomasin, security advisor to Sheikh Marsala Redmond of the Caliphate of the Sands on Astorkazi, Tomasin stumbled upon an ancient HSR 200D model during an intelligence operation against a rival caliphate. A gifted pilot, Tomasin used his new prize to augment his sheik's meager armoured forces during the Sandstorm plot in 3021, where he managed to spoil the Caliph Yazir's surprise attack. Using the laser's extended reach to great effect, he managed to disable Yazir's two wasps before they could jump the sheik's castle walls. Buso Senshi Orland Yamashita Dishonored, after the discovery of his Yakuza ties, Yamashita was given a chance for redemption during Theodore's reforms. Assigned a new 300D model from Comstar's hidden stockpiles, Yamashita was dropped behind Davian lines on Constance during the War of 3039 and assisted the 3rd Deeran regulars by spotting for their devastating artillery strikes. His disregard for his own personal safety while deftly manoeuvring through Lyran lines earned him honour and full acceptance back among the ranks of his peers. <laughs>